Hey everybody, I just got back from my local uh, gun store where I picked up these Defender flip caps for my Vortex Viper PST Gen 2. And I've always hesitated on buying these from the internet because I don't know what size my thing needs and I know web or Vortex has a website that can help you figure all that out. But I kind of like going there in person and making sure just because I can't remember what they are on Vortex. I think I want to say they're $49 or something like that. Well, these are 20 bucks, you know. So considerably cheaper, I believe, unless I was looking at the wrong um, covers. But yeah, so we're going to test them right now. So for the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2 with the, what is it? I think it's 5 to 25. 5 to 25 by 50. Um rifle scope these will fit it it's the 50 for the objective and the e10 for the ocular i believe is what it's called or something like that so i will show you how i fit them show you how they fit on there always cut towards yourself now they do give a size guide on how to align your eyepiece up against this back edge and then see kind of what size you need, what size it covers. So I use that. So at the, my gun store, I did bring my rifle with me to test fit it, but they also had the same scope there. So I just used their display model scope and I held it up against it. These things are supposed to be really fancy. Like they flip up 90 degrees and then they fold back 270, I believe. Well, it looks like it's got two positions. So just as long as they work is all I care about. Now this looks like a pretty tight fit. But it's a really stretchy rubber. It'll be easier if I open this up. Trying to get like one side started without touching my glass. So I've wanted these for a while because the ones they come with, they're okay, but they're not what I want for when I go out west hunting or something like that. I want to be able to have these covers to flip up. Plus, with what I'm trying to get into with long range shooting, I want something I can have some dope data written right on that piece and kind of kind of reference that when I bring my cheek up to the rifle. So that right there is how that fits on. So, I mean, that's a pretty pliable rubber. That actually doesn't feel too bad. So I'm kind of flip up, stay down. They snap nice. I have another set that came with a cheaper rifle scope that I bought and I tried putting them on here but they wouldn't fit. But yeah, this is this is kind of tight. It's not like that soft plastic sleeve. I don't know what it's made out of. The other ones that I have come like this is like full out rubber. It's really grippy, so that's kind of cool. Shows that it's protected from water, wind, snow, and that looks like dust. So they lock at 270 degrees and at zero. But I am not seeing, made in the USA, I'm not seeing what materials. They are made out of. And then I got the, I also own a Vortex Strike Eagle. And that is the 5 to 25 by 56. So I test, I went to that store and I could not find the objective cover for that 56 millimeter tube. So 
the 50 will not fit the Strike Eagle when I find one that will, when I because they didn't have anything else bigger in stock at the time. So when they bring them in, I'll let you know what size that is, but I believe that's like their 55 millimeter or whatever they call that. But the E10 fits the Strike Eagle and the PST Gen 2. Yeah, so when you first go to put this on, I'll bring you in close. When you first go to put this on, I mean, it doesn't look like it's even going to fit. It just looks so tight. Looks like you got the wrong size, but when you pull that over, it matches right up. One thing I am noticing is that this plastic hard ring that the lid snaps into is really close to my barrel now. So if you have a scope that's just barely off your barrel like mine, you might run into some issues, but actually as I get it on tighter, it's actually going away. And it actually looks like a pretty good fit. Pull it tight just to make sure. And I'm pretty happy about these because that's what I, I need to get them for my Strike Eagle because I'm going on an elk hunt to Montana in a couple more months, which I hopefully will have filmed also. I'm going to try to film as much as I can. Just depends on if I'll be able to bring this tripod along and set it up before, you know, an animal shows up and all that. But yeah, so I'm looking for my Strike Eagle now. But that is on my Vortex PST Gen 2. There they are, fit and finished. You can see this is the plastic outer ring of this. And then there's that little, you can see that, I think you can see it, that metal. Let's see if I can get it to focus correctly. Yeah, the metal. So I mean, it fits right up in there. It looks actually pretty flush. Flip up. They say you can get dope cards for in here. I was kind of thinking of taking a piece of tape, some kind of like uh, masking tape that's white, and using a marker because as I change, because I want to go hand loading eventually, so right now I'm shooting factory ammunition. As I go to do hand loads someday, this will change, so I don't want to spend a ton of money on a dope card, which I'm sure they're very cheap, but I plan on just filling this up with some uh, painter's tape or something, taking a marker, you know, 100 yards, zero, 200 yards, three minutes of angle. 300 yards is five minutes of angle for this particular setup. You know, I'm gonna have all that in there so when I flip it up and I'm at the range or shooting a deer, I can dial what I need on my turret, just glancing at this. I want something to quick reference off of, so that's another reason why I wanted the flip covers. Also, just to help protect them, keeping the dust and dirt out. And I like the way they are compared to the regular scope covers they come with, which this day actually broke on me. I pulled the string right out through the outside tube that they, that the string goes through on. But yeah, there they are. I mean, it looks, fit and finish looks pretty good, I think. Good enough for me, at least. He's also locked down. Clipping nice and solid. I got, I was telling you, like that barrel, looks like they actually got it detented just a little bit, or no, I guess not, but I mean, there's not a whole lot of gap there, so just be aware of that if you're going to, if your scope is too close, which if it's that close, it's probably way too close, but yeah, there you go. I got an E10 on the rear, E10, and then I got 50 on the front for a 50 millimeter, so Vortex Viper Gen 2. Thanks for watching.